let's do this one. We're going to solve this one by completing the square. And before, we want to be familiar with uh, this method of setting up a quadratic. So my first step here is get rid of the brackets and expand this out. And I'll do the first outside, inside, last thing. The first is um, 4x squared. Outside is plus 14x. Inside is minus 6x. And the last is minus 21. Okay. Now I clean this up a bit. Combine these like terms here. And I get 4x squared uh, plus 8x minus 21 equals 19. So for completing the square, um, I want to get this c term and dip it over to the other side, making it 4x squared plus 8x. I'm going to leave a little blank there. And 19 plus 21 is 40. Okay. Now before I do anything, I see this 4 and this 8 and this 40. And I know that I can clean that up by um, by just dividing them all by 4. Every term by 4. Okay, now the, the beauty... Yes, yes, it is 10, not 20. So now for completing the square, uh, I'm going to take half of B and square it and add that onto both sides. Half of B is 1, squared that is plus 1. And I add that onto both sides. So over here I get 11. Now when I do that trick here, that trick there, that trick there of taking half of b and squaring it, b is the coefficient of the x term, what I will always get here is that perfect, uh, perfect square that factorizes to x plus 1 squared every time. That's the whole goal of completing the square, and that's why it's called completing the square. Now here... Uh, the opposite of squaring is square root. I'm going to square root both sides. That gets rid of the squared. It has to be a plus or minus square root because x is abstract. We're not talking about length or anything or radius. And finally, to get x by itself, to solve for x, I'm going to subtract that one, plus or minus the square root of 11. Now here, we could... We could leave it at this answer if we want to, or we can get decimal equivalents and say that x equals negative 1 plus the square root of 11, or x equals negative 1 minus the square root of 11, figure out what those decimal equivalents are, or we, we could just leave it as, as this expression right here, saying that that's two, these are two different answers. All right, yeah,